Uh, we, we had a housing summit back in March of this year and we determined that we need about 500 homes right now in Williston, North Dakota. Um, that was done by a 2016 study through NDSU. They did a study. Um, we also had over 800 births last year in the city of Williston. Um, we also had the school system come to us and say that they've had 19 brand new students sign up every single week this entire year. Um, but keep in mind some of those students leave as well, but they had 19 new students coming in. So there's still families that are coming here right now. And with all of that and with the listings of the houses, we've had realtors come talk to us about that. The first quarter of 2018 was the highest selling quarter of single family homes in the history of Williston, which was just this last spring. So we need homes right now. So then what we did was um, we took that study from 2016 from the NDSU Research Center and it said that we're going to grow by 67 percent in this northwest quadrant of North Dakota through the year 2029. So if that's the case, we're conservatively figuring that our numbers in Williston are about 31,000 people and if you take 67 percent, that's about 20,000 some people that the city of Williston will grow by through the year 2029. Now divide that by the 11 years left and that's about 1,800 people per year. Um, national average says there's 2.4 people per household, but let's be conservative and say there's four per a family. You're st that's somewhere in the 400 range of houses, about 470 homes that we need. Um, then you look at all of our um, apartments. We have about 6,000 apartment units itself, living units. And if they're 80 to 95 percent full, um, some realtors are saying that 60 some percent of their sales are coming from people living in the apartments and they just want to get out. Now, now it's time to build, buy a house. Mm -hmm. um, so if you take that number, that, that could be around 300 homes a year of people just moving out of those apartments if only 5 percent, if we're considering 5 percent of them. Mm -hmm. So that, again, the, that puts us back into seven, but we're conservatively saying we need 500 homes this year and we need 500 homes for the next 11 years here if we're gonna keep up with the demand. And let's face it, the oil's not really going away. Um, the prices are strong right now. We figure we have about 10,000 wells out here that are drilled currently, and I believe the Bakken is said to be set up for about 80,000 wells. So we're maybe an eighth of the way into this thing. We're, we're in first inning, second inning right now. So we, we need housing. The Meadows fits in very well because uh, this is one of our small solutions to meeting our housing needs. Um, they're using SIP panels out there, which we've, we've been out there as the building official and some of our building inspectors. Um, we've had great inspections on those. They meet the energy code. They go up very fast. Um, in my opinion, that would be a great solution to, to build more homes with less labor. One of our biggest problems out here is finding the labor to come out here. When these people come out here, um, if they only have one or two homes to do, then they want to go back to wherever they came from. And it's hard to keep that labor here consistently throughout the summer months, for example. So that would be one good solution to, to speed up the process and have fewer laborers out here.